Hey, Welcome back, it's your boy Heater and the flow sick with the whole feature. It's your boy Hussa, you know that we live. Now drop a like and then be sure to subscribe. We're back, reacting to One Piece and believing we're truly excited to witness the legend of Luffy because he's on a mission to prove he's the king of the pirates. Uh -huh. Much love to Niku Glossy, thank you for giving your pledge. Now we're not for the track, it's time to react. We're ready for what happens next. In the new world. Those must be mink, huh? And they also men in black. Mink in black. Mm, we're on the hunt. Peace not here. You ain't lying. The best of hands. We need that boy. Phoenix! <laughs> Probably not. Cat with Viper ain't no more uh, inviting. He looks scary too. Mm. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Guard too. This is true. <laughs> Gorilla can't even smile nice at you. Yon, yon, How I be laughing? <laughs> what if Marco got a kid now? Out here on the countryside? Mm -hmm. Whoa. That's the beast from Impel Down, ain't it? That's Marco. <laughs> Swagging. Impel Down? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Masters on one of the floors? Yeah. Nice. What? Get to step in, Tama. That's a pet? Mm-hmm. The flames of restoration. Mm. He was the doctor on the ship? Mmm, crazy. Dang. Who would have thought he was a medic? Right. Did he say it was temporary, though? A little bit? The flames of restoration? Yeah. Got him feeling cracked. Brand new. How did she end up with him? Oh. Doing push ups? Oh. He's about to start jumping. <laughs> I love you. Straight retired. Yeah, he was special out there. Mm -hmm. We needed him. Mm -hmm. Getting high as a kite. Oh, Damn. We need medics. He's Tanjiro out here. Mm -hmm. My knees. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's probably where you're from. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta get that icy hot. It's hard to see him smile so much and be so gentle. I don't even want him back out here on the seas. He seems sad, so happy, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh. Oh, this is the place that Brownbeard took over, I'm guessing. Mm. Mm. Is that Whitebeard? It is. Wow. Dirty money. Mm. <laughs> Facts. Blood on everything. Mm. 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 Went after his territory next. Yeah, fighting for the land. Cheating. Oh, no. Mm. Darkness, everybody. I knew it was coming next. Yeah. You got the one, too. Uh, ooh. It's absorbing people in. Watch the gravity. Ah. Into that darkness, everybody. He's Dang, mm. he's in his bag. Mm. came to talk to us and spit us Drop the whole 
Stangy. Yeah, what's he doing now? The only one. He definitely hit. Baby mama. And that's this land. We're gonna wait for Weevil to get and jump him. Mm, there was definitely an opportunity. He definitely hit. <laughs> Bring a little body over here. <laughs> <laughs> Kill Kaido. Big ghost. Kaido. <laughs> Just make sure we're talking about the same guy. <laughs> the Emperor, right? Right. First Big Mom, now Kaido. Calm down, bro. We're trying to keep you alive, man. We promise, Pops. Oh, he about to start trying again. Dang, Luffy. Stop taking life risk. Right. What you try to get to? Three billion next. Is 1.5 not good enough for you? There was a lot of flashback in this episode. Marco's been handling business at Whitebeard's hometown. Whitebeard grew up in an island where they couldn't pay their heavily tribute. So they had no government assistance. Uh, it's lawless. Ain't no Marines coming to save you. He got it out the mud. He kept sending money back home. And even as he became the father of the sea, the he still Emperor. made sure to send extra resources and everything else to this island where he grew up in. We would, you know, run up on some big target, hit a big lake, get millions upon millions of berry, mm -hmm. and he'd take his little million cut and send it home. Yeah. And then go and ask Marco for his drink. Because yeah, he ain't got right. no money at the bar. Right, facts. Because he's paying a lot of child support. He's got a lot of family members, a lot of children under him. So y'all gonna have to share with Pop. Stop playing with your boy. For real. Hey, <laughs> send that drink over. No, you can have two drinks tonight. All right, Pops needs that one. <laughs> he got the big daddy cup on the table just come on man we supposed to fill up this barrel all right everybody put a sip in <laughs> pour some in the barrel for pops yeah roll it up yeah. i'm drinking that shit tonight fellas <laughs> so we was hitting licks but that was to support pops as he supported islands marco's been holding it down especially since weevil is here to collect on whitebeard's fortune which Whitebeard seems to only have this island under his name since Blackbeard's gone and captured his territory over time. Most of it, it seems. And Marco was fighting for the territory that Blackbeard was starting to take over, and Blackbeard whooped the whole gang, bro. He whooped the remnant of the Whitebeard pirates. They ain't even show nobody else but Blackbeard. And his new move set. Solo. It's like he been in a lab like Gojo. Or oh, if I combine the darkness with the trench him. <gasps> oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> he was in a lab. Look at it! Yeah! It's only right that Blackbeard would combine his powers and become a real demon out there. And right. he's a wild guy out there. Marco and them didn't stand a chance. Oh, that and that hurts. crushed his pride. Yeah, facts. I'm about to retire, guys. All right. What y'all about to do? Right. No, what y'all about to do? Yeah. I guess I'll go home. Yeah, I'm gonna go reside where 
White Bear resided most of his life. Yeah. And it's fire that Marco is a medic, you know what I'm saying? He was the doctor, he was the Tony Tony on that ship. He was the chop shop. And then he used his legendary fruit, that Phoenix flame restoration to heal your wounds up. You know what I'm saying? It was mythical. Mm -hmm. So White Bear Pirates don't get tired. That's clean. I wonder where he found his fruit. But yeah, Cat Viper, he ain't busting Marco's balls about coming out here. He knows he can't come through because he's trying to protect the land. Yeah. Trying to hold it down for Pops from Weevil and Mrs. Buckin. You know, holding on to one of those toys that the guys have, you know. <laughs> she became her flashlight. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, oh, Miss Buckin, that mouth open wide, don't it? Never would have thought I'd see it. You ever seen somebody do a split on it? <laughs> <laughs> Let me show you something, baby. Just lay back. <laughs> Dang, that's wild, man. Guess she used to be cute once upon a time. Marco could vouch. He definitely tore Miss Bucking up multiple times. 30 and 40 years ago, they looked like a so. <laughs> Everybody could hear the screams. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Is there a Mr. Girl. Buckin? <laughs> Mrs. Buckin? <laughs> that was Whitebeard. Beard. They heard Whitebeard. That's what I'm saying, man. <laughs> they ain't even hear Miss Buckin. <laughs> yeah, for real. She took it like a charm. <laughs> she rocked this world. Yeah, yeah. She rocked this world. The only one, the only son he's ever had. Legendary babies. <sighs> yeah. Weevil's really strong, too. They said that boy's strong. Yeah. He Especially when Kazaru says it. Yeah. He was, he was hunting down former white beard affiliates he was marco on the list he's waiting patiently mm -hmm. waiting for them to pull up when you get here this is the, the line here buddy good episode looking forward to the next time that you boys round between us is scale is so vividly obvious while in the studio i become ubers and then i start treating the beat like the mafia you think the nearest just holler jacottas cause fire is proceeding from haters and sophagus me and my partners are represent charlotte the city that's north carolina's metropolis and we've been patiently waiting to display our greatness showcasing our lyrical dominance and to be